All right, folks, well, we're back in our little wood lot here. We dropped this one the other night. We cut a 16 foot long piece on here. Um, a, f a person, a neighbor needed a 16 foot long, 16 foot six, four by six. Yeah, for a beam in their house. So we took it out of a smaller, and this one has been dead for a while. You can see it's it's got rot inside. So it would have blew it down anyways and broke. <clears throat> so we harvested it, we dropped it down. We have two on there. Now the top that's out there is going to be for firewood. It's way out there, but these are some saw logs. They're a little naughty, but they're gonna get punished for being so naughty, they're gonna be lumber. Anyways, this is what we're gonna cut up now and load. And that is quite large. <laughs> I'll show you what my hand looks like on it. That's what my hand looks like sitting on that log. That's how big that is. And we're going to load that by hand somehow. But first, we are going to cut it. binding at the top. Uh, I don't want to roll. Nope, I'm thinking it wasn't cut off all the way. <laughs> That's what was happening. I'll turn the end here. This block here is just about cut off. The butt block. You know, I like this saw, folks, Greenworks. I do not like, I'm not impressed with the people who run it, I should say. I've been using this chainsaw now for two years. Not one failure, not one problem. That speaks a lot to Greenworks, I guess, for, or whoever designed this saw. But it's hard to talk to anybody about them when you call them. To get another battery is uh, expensive enough, I guess. I have have one thanks to Bert, he sent me a spare one last year. But it's like, up here you can't find another 80 volt Greenworks chainsaw anywhere. The Canadian Tire stores don't sell them up here and really no place sells them up here so that's the only thing I'm discouraged about. <clears throat> I would love to get another one someday but uh, that's the only problem up here but if you're if you're in a spot where they sell Greenworks the 80 volts I would advise you to grab one because they're really, really good saws. They're, they're great. I mean, uh, you folks have seen me use this now. Uh, it, would be, it would be two years very shortly, maybe in another month or so, that we've used this constantly. This is our primary saw. And we cut a lot of wood with it. As you folks probably know, we cut a lot of logs. We cut a lot of firewood with it. And uh, <clears throat> no problems, it never fails us. I mean, this is the third chain I think I've went through on it. and. Uh, it's uh, this chain is getting down now. It's just about wore out. I sharpen it, take the take the guides down. Some people call them rakers, guides, whatever you want to call them. Not not a lick of problems, <clears throat> but uh, we really enjoy that. Some other news too, folks. If you're interested, uh, we signed up for this uh, site called Teespring. Now they are making our T-shirts and mugs for us, so. 
If you're looking for a t-shirt, if you click right here, you can get uh, your t-shirts right here. That was weird. That was weird. That was a weird animal. Is that oh, ever? Here are all kinds of weird things in here. And if you're looking for your t-shirts, folks, you can get your t-shirts up here. But those mugs, when we started doing a live show, if you would like a mug there, you just uh, click on the link there, that card uh, that was up there, and you can go right there and buy yourself a, one of our homestead mugs. And it will help uh, build our basement too and help build our, our homestead. So if you're interested, like I say, uh, give it a click. And uh, if you purchase one, thank you very much. We really, really appreciate that. And we'll have more things available later on as it goes. We'll see how this goes first. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll see how popular the, the, our merchandise is. And if it's not that popular, well, we will discontinue it after a while. But uh, we'll see, you know. Uh, anyways, we're going to get it. This thing here has got to be heavy. Uh, I don't know how we're going to load it, but we, we will. We always seem to load them. But we are going to uh, measure that right now. Cut it 8 foot 4. And we will be back when we get it loaded, folks. Hey, folks. Well, we got that loaded. And I don't know how we did it. But somehow, I found a bee's nest. I was working right over top. And I just got stung right here by a little bee. You see them swarming over there? They're not friendly at all. They did not like me. I don't think I'm allergic to them or anything. Because I pretty fine but I guess that don't really mean much I don't think I've been stung in how many years 15 uh, years or more no, oh, it, no. I got stung once last yeah. year yeah. but yeah. Uh, it disappeared it was more itchy this kind of now is getting itchy it's not really sore it's more itchy than anything right now but yeah they're uh, they're not too happy with me disturbing their habitat I'm going to see if I can load this one this is another heavy one but it's shorter though this one yeah, we'll see what I can do. Holy mackerel. There we go. Got that. They are not light. sure they mind their P's and Q's. <sighs> I used to get stung lots when I was younger in the bush. I didn't enjoy it back then either. Okay, I'm going to turn the bike. I'll be right back. I think they're wasps. Wasps? Yeah. They're not bothering me. I guess I'm lucky that way. Only if I move a certain way there, they get me. They don't leave their stingers in, yay. They can just keep stinging. Can't they can they? sting as many times as they want. I was standing all around them. I don't know how just the one got me. But they are swarming. I thought I heard something. I was thinking, is that a motorcycle out there way out on the road? I was thinking it sounded like a zzzz. <laughs> then all of a sudden I felt something nail me right there. When, and, you to, uh, when you went to go turn around, I had one on my on my shorts, and I was like, <laughs> so I got out of there too. I'm like, before it stung me. Literally, it was two years ago, I think, eh? not last year. Two years ago, I got stung. It was it was when we were it was when we were getting logs over on the other side. That was two years ago. Okay. And uh, before that, it was probably 15 years. I was lucky, but when I was younger, I used to get it all the time in the bush. Yeah. So, I guess I must not have an allergy to them. I guess because uh, I don't even really feel it anymore. No, it's pretty much gone. I don't feel it now. It's good. We're That's golden.
all over, all over. Okay, let me see. Let me see the camera. I'll let you do it. He has followed us all the way out, yeah. he or she. Now let me see, I gotta see if I can get my bearings here. Is that limb that runs out on an angle there. Oh, I see it now, okay. Yeah, isn't that funny? I'm not really seeing it now either. It's right there. See this head movement? I just can't see it. See the very top of that tree to the left? Yeah, I can't see on it on the camera limb, though. Okay, see the top of the tree? I'm looking around here. Oh, I know where it is up there. I can't see it. Oh, here it is now. I think I see it. No, I'm not seeing it. No, where is that? I think I got to go down a lot, see? Eh? Let's back out here a bit. Sorry about this, folks. Okay, let's go here. There's one leaning on an angle there, yes. It's that tree. I got to follow that tree up. He blends in pretty good, doesn't it? Right there. Now I see you looking at us. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. It followed us all the way out of the bush. It stayed ahead of us. Look at it. Sorry, I keep moving this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it stayed ahead of us pretty much all the way out, eh? Mm -hmm. Comes out and looks at us for a ways. Well, we're going to keep going, folks. Yeah. I'm going to hand the camera back to Heather. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. See if I can get down this hill. i got to shut the engine off going down there, and I have to swerve so I don't end up... Uh... Come on, Heather. Hey, what's going on now? Oh, I shut this off. That was dumb of me, eh? Does it move? Mm, no, it's It'll fly out. out. Oh, there it goes. But it's flying yeah. out further to the house. Yeah. Now it's out up there looking at it. That's interesting. Well, it goes out there. It's got a lot of feed with the trip. Okay, I gotta start swerving here now to slow me down here a bit. Turn the engine on just enough to keep me rolling. And I shut it off because I have absolutely no brakes on this thing. Well, I can, they almost work, but not quite. So I have to keep swerving. <laughs> I used to have to do this with my tractor years and years ago and I had no brakes on it, bringing a big load home. I'm sure a lot of you folks use this trick before. Now that big load, I'm just gonna idle up the hill here. It'll go up here like that. Put it neutral accidentally. Even that, even in neutral, it'll still take off. Just a little 250 two-wheel drive. I wouldn't want to try this if the hill was muddy. This is so much easier now to haul along. Take care and we'll talk.